Superman, Darkseid. These are two powerhouses in the DC universe who have traded blows so many times in the comics, animated shows and movies and partly some shows and the Snyder Cut of course with, and a few video games as well. So a while back whilst I was making you know a video about Darkseid, his voice through the years and the actors who portrayed him, that was when I had an idea to make this video on all the Superman vs Darkseid confrontations and fights in the animated movies tv shows and movies and of course video games as well so let's just jump right into it but wait before that um, i'm not going to give you the plot or the details on why they are fighting on how the scenes came to be because you know that will be spoilers i wish those who have not watched and you know those these movies or shows that i'm going to mention get a fresh experience into it Starting off, we have the legendary superpower show or team, a show that came in 1984 and 1985 and was essentially about the Justice League team. Dark Side was portrayed by Frank Weller, a legendary voice actor, and Danny Dark voiced Superman. Yeah, I know I tried to find an actual real fight, like you know, one on one hardcore battle, but I couldn't find anything. This was such an old show, but anyway, the video is all about confrontation or fight, so I guess it fits the first label. Secondly, we have Superman the Animated Series, which ran from 1996 to 2000. This was a show centered on Superman, and it was very cool at the time. Even now, it still has that nostalgic, you know, feeling when you watch it, especially those who watched it back then when they were kids. All very young. So, the Superman in this show was played by Tim Daly and Michael Ironside, of course, the legend, voice Dark Side. And with this, we actually got a great fight between them. The choreography was smooth it was good at the time it even holds up today if i might add that at number three we have the justice league which ran from 2001 to 2004 a very iconic show superman in this was voiced by george newman and of course michael ironside returned to voice dark side and of course the fight between dark side and superman yep this was pretty good the animation also looked better i mean i mean that's how it works with time and improvement in people's skills and yep they gave us this awesome fight at number four we have justice league unlimited which was a continuation of the justice league show that ran in 2001 to 2004 so this one also ran for two years and george newman and michael ironside reprised their roles as superman and dark side and whew, i remember this fight like this was one of the craziest fight like they got to this point where everything was just crazy superman actually letting go and not holding back anymore this was an amazing fight and dark side man we all know dark side he's a beast also at number five we have justice league heroes a game which came out in 2006 you play as the justice league characters the story was pretty decent also and yeah this was a cut scene from the game and as you can see there's no much you know action packed compared to the movies and shows that we will cover in this list but uh, well it is a video game after all and the actual fighting is you actually playing the game so Superman was voiced by Crispin Freeman and David Sobolov voiced Darkseid. At number 6, we have Mortal Kombat vs the DC Universe, another video game and this came out in 2008. You know, that era where games like these could be made, pitting the Mortal Kombat Universe and the DC Universe to make this. And of course, just like the previous one on the list, this being a game, there's no actually a, an action fight scene in the cinematics and the fight is only done when actually playing the game. So the actors who voiced Superman and Darkseid are Christopher Corey smith and perry brown at the seventh spot we have superman batman apocalypse an amazing animated movie that came out in 2010 when counting all the animated movies like this could be in my top 10 it was so good it introduced supergirl dark side was also in the mix i mean you guessed it from the title itself apocalypse and you also got the dark knight in the story as well the fight scene was also crazy especially the last one the animators went all in they gave us supergirl versus dark side brutal fight and then you also got superman versus dark side and the final team up to conclude the fight it was just crazy and amazing Tim Daly was the voice behind Superman and Darkseid had Andre Brogia. Sorry if I mispronounced the name wrong, but he also voiced Darkseid. 
at number eight we have smallville a show that is one of my favorites of all time and i think paved the way for the arrowverse universe that we had so when it comes to its dark side you know they couldn't actually make a dark side because of it being a show at that time and the amount of work to make dark side it was going to be the first live action dark side but they went the route of dark side actually possessing lionel luther and that was how it went the fight was brief it was the finale for god's sakes and man even talking about it right now it just evokes some nostalgic feeling and i feel like watching the whole series again it was so good man and now they are going to make an animated show that takes place after the finale of smallville so clark kent who's yet to become superman after this finale was portrayed by tom welling and for dark side there was no name i researched and researched i didn't find any name for the person who played dark side at number nine we have justice league war an animated movie that started the new era should i say new 52 I don't, i'm not sure about that you can correct me in the comments it was a new saga for the animated universe for dc they called it dcau some okay, people we'll do actually and this was a new era where the justice league have to form and it was great the animation was beautiful the characters were enjoyable them actually coming together it was cool and they fought dark side which was an epic battle everyone doing their part them all working together and of course <laughs> main reasons for this list superman and dark side their fight though brief it was good and whew, dark side was in a lot of pain in this movie so alan tudyk voiced dark side and steve blum very legendary figure when it comes to voice acting brought this terrifying voiced dark side to life in this movie At number 10, we have Justice League Action, another show centered on the Justice League which came out in 2016 to 2018. From the animation, you can tell it was made, you know, for the younger audience, but let me tell you, that is true in some ways. It had this, you know, <laughs> crazy moments in it. Jason J. Lewis was the voice behind Superman and Jonathan Adams voiced Darkseid. At number 11, we have Injustice 2, sequel to the video game that came out in, was it 2013? Yeah, this came out in 2017 and it was a very big improvement from the first one. A lot more characters were added, the graphics looked beautiful and of course, this being a video game, there's not going to be a cutscene, you know, with them actually fighting. That is all done and experienced whilst actually playing the game and Superman was voiced by George Newman and Michael Leon Woolley voiced the dark side. Fall to your knees and obey dark side. Intimidation doesn't work on me. But the Omega effect will. At a 12th spot, we have Justice League Dark Apocalypse, a brutal action emotional movie that ended the era, or shall I say, the new run of this animated movie and spawn off a new one but man was this movie crazy people actually call this the avengers infinity war of the animated movies or avengers end game because it just it feels like you combined those two movies this is the first time the heroes lost and it was brutal because it is animated they went all out with the gore and oh dark side was crazy with it we've got certain fights between superman was possessed by Trigon with dark side and we also got a fight between superman and dark side so this just had so many elements riding on it the story was good it pulled on the emotional heart strings like this movie just went all out and it's one of the best when it comes to animated movies when it comes to the dc universe heck when it comes to comic book animated movies in general superman in this movie was voiced by jerry o'connell and Tony Todd, the candy man himself, voiced the dark side. You took everything from me! Now I'm gonna make you pay! And now the last one on the list, Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Snyder Cut. Man, man, this came out in 2021 and blew people away. You cannot watch this movie and tell me it's the same movie 
as the 2017 version like come on this took the movie to a whole different level the stories the character development the action scenes were superb and of course we got a live action introduction to dark side yeah smallville tried to do that but this was an actual portrayal visually that is the character design and the voice oh man we didn't actually get a fight scene between dark side and the justice league or superman but they did have a stare down a confrontation as you may call it and ooh, the way the camera just zoomed in just panned on superman's face and dark side it, this ending just showed us a possibility if you know the part two and part three of this justice league movie were to take place i mean come on you can't tell me you are not at least intrigued by this battle that could have occurred if snyder cut had completed his vision but anyway there are so many sources saying that the 10 year plan for the dceu universe includes um henry cavill and ben affleck and they are coming but most of the cast are coming back i don't know if Zack snyder will be coming back though but at least i'm happy with that now superman of course was voiced by henry cavill and ray porter lent his terrifying voice to dark side now that's it for the list I hope you enjoyed it. These were some amazing scenes, fight scenes, and confrontation between Superman and Darkseid. Please <laughs> stay in touch and get notified for more entertainment videos. Please subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, and leave a like for the video. It helps the channel out. As always, Nerdy Sage here. See you guys in the next one.